I am so excited to be here at the 24th annual Robert Wilson Watermill Center Benefit. There are hundreds of people online outside waiting to enter through these incredible satin streaming ribbons and there are hundreds of wonderful performance artists inside who are ready for the crowds to come and be in awe of what they're doing. The Watermill Center is a summer artist in residence program right here in the Hamptons. There are so many different types of artists like painters, singers, actors, and dancers. They come to the center to experience the direction of Robert Wilson himself. Why is this such a sought after and highly anticipated annual benefit? Because Robert Wilson is a huge draw. He has been described by the media as America's or even the world's foremost avant-garde theater artist. His work in theater has received critical acclaim around the world for the past 30 years. The proceeds of this benefit directly help Mr. Wilson to fulfill his creative mission for the Watermill Center. Hush, little baby, don't say a word. Papa's gonna buy you a mockingbird. And if that mockingbird won't sing, Papa's gonna buy you a diamond ring. Well, the Watermill Center is an artist in residence program in the summer where they receive students from all over the world that are here to practice and hone whatever their particular art is. You may have seen this evening throughout the, the um, gardens, there are people doing various types of performance art, whether it's dancing or painting. They put together the entire event tonight, which From is not only nuts. they build everything, they build right? everything, they direct everything, they perform not only during the uh, cocktail hour but also during the dinner. Not sure what their message is. Well, the, the genre that I do is called mutation. Um, it's a fusion of thoughts, ideas, feelings, emotions. I come from a, a deep background of movement art, street art, and we fused it and made it avant-garde, pretty much so. What I was doing on stage was just some lockups, we call the isos, and transformations and characters, pretty much. Wow. Well, you blew the mind of everybody here. The performance art going on inside is, to me, a little bit disturbing. I think it's a commentary on child labor law laws or the lack thereof around the world. I mean, this small human in there, a, a female, obviously deformed in a way, uh, who knows how, is working endlessly and tirelessly without a break, sweeping the floors and you know, seems quite out of breath and is covered in soot and dirt, clearly very unhealthy conditions. So it is disturbing, but it's art. What can you say about a man in a banana tree, virtually encased in bananas, who very much looks like he's hung himself um, across from a gentleman in a lab coat, 
who is asking how big is your banana and slowly and erotically peeling the bananas and giving them quite a phallic treatment. Um, again, it's different to everybody. It's to me, I mean, you've got the Hawaiian music playing. It's like a mixture of Gilligan's Island meets the electric chair. Performance art, as demonstrated here, is kind of taking something that is part of your everyday life or perhaps your childhood, like cotton candy, and turning it into some, turning it on its head, spinning it on its axis, making it unruly and wild and just something that you never imagined in your wildest dreams. Like this man sitting in front of a cotton candy maker at which one of the workers here keeps pouring the sugary substance in and he's literally slowly being suffocated in it, frankly. And you know what? I was really close to it and it kind of hurts. I'm not sure what the message is, but it's really fun to look at. fabulous extravaganza uh, is drawing to a close. The sun is setting. It was a perfect evening. And all of the funds, everything that's raised tonight goes back to the school directly. And all of the artists who've contributed their pieces here tonight are friends, colleagues, and also um, they very much revere Robert Wilson for everything he's done for the art community in the Hamptons and around the world. So thank you so much for watching. I'm so pleased yes. I could give you an insider look at this very exclusive and extravagant evening.